It may swell after a five-mile hike. Arnold's most feminine. Ah, very nifty. In the dormitory, beds are called bunks. And they must be made according to regulations. Pillows just so. And there are even regulations for folding a blanket. The waves learn the Navy way of keeping house. And the Navy's household is always neat. Captain's inspection. Good morning, Captain. Anxious moments as the Commandant makes his rounds. Uh-oh, that hidden dust. Somebody's gonna get it. Looks like extra duty for her. It is important for Uncle Sam to have the girls fit. Well, they've a man-sized job to handle, so they've got to be trim and strong. Yo, heave ho, molasses. That's one way to keep the waistline down. Body conditioning is prescribed for the entire personnel in the Navy, from Admiral to Blue Jacket. And now, the wave. Mess time and good old Navy chow. What? No helping of potatoes? Bet she's on a diet. But she's not. Chocolate pudding for dessert. Think of the calories. But don't worry, it's proper food for a balanced diet in the Navy. Plane identification. They learn the various types of aircraft just as a man in the Navy. Who can tell? They may be assigned to operations at an airfield. And aeronautics is part of the course, too. And they must know how their Navy is run. The relation of bureaus, direction, and authority. From the President, their Commander-in-Chief, and on down the line. It's class work from dawn to dark to obtain the stripes of an officer. Right! Well, march. Graduation day, and Waves Commander McAfee addresses the class. Your real work in the Navy begins today. Remember that the men you release for combat duty at sea are relying on your reliability accuracy, resourcefulness, and zeal on shore. The Navy and the nation count on you. Now they are officers from Captain Underwood, commanding officer of the base. And here is the backbone of the waves, the enlisted personnel. A Navy commander conducts inspection accompanied by a wave officer as his aide. An example of waves replacing men. Communications. Every girl who takes a clerical job at a naval shore base frees a blue jacket for sea duty. Code, their first lesson. They'll learn things they'll be able to use later in civilian life. Soon these girls will be communicating with the whole world, from Washington to the South Pacific and the Mediterranean, encircling the globe, contacting warships in far-off combat zones. They study operation of the radio direction finder with its characteristic loop. The dial indicates the direction from which the radio signal comes. It is used for aviation and sea navigation. They're on their way to another task soon to discard their snappy uniform for the work clothes of the Navy. Each girl to her locker and a quick change. Jumpers for work in the machine shops, where grease and grime may be expected. 
They have an aptitude for mechanical tasks and are relieving Blue Jacket aviation machinist mates at homeland air bases. Men who used to do these jobs are now aboard aircraft carriers in battle areas. The waves have been mobilized for the mechanical side of air power. Theirs is a vital work, and they're proud to assist in keeping the supremacy of American military aviation. Our air power would collapse without these all important tasks of maintenance. Gunnery for the waves. A new field for the girls is the operation of machine guns, though not with any idea of combat duty. They're training to become instructors in the teaching of gunnery to new men in the service. An automatic weapon has a lot of mechanism. They learn what makes it tick, what makes it shoot. Now it's the wave behind the gun. Number one gun. Load and lock. Safety off. And it's fine. mobilization of American woman power so that greater man power can engage in combat and hasten the victory. America salutes her volunteer waves, the women in blue. <laughs> 